Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be opening up a couple packages, so let's get started. Alright guys, so I have, I believe, five packages here. Most of them are Funko Shop stuff, but yeah, I've got some pretty good ones here. So we're going to be going through these and opening them up. I mean, I've got that's two, three, three, Ooh, I dropped one. Pretend like that never happened. I'm sure the pop's okay. So we've got three, four Funko Shop ones. And then we have this one here. So this is a fifth one. I, I don't know exactly what it is. I think I know what it is. It says it's from Blizzard, so we'll have to check that one out in a second. But we're gonna be going through these guys here, checking them out, uh, seeing what's inside, showing them off to you guys, because I don't know if they'll be going into another video. Um, that's kind of why we do the unboxing ones, just in case we don't make it into a top five or, a, or you know, like a full collection video. It's a great way to show off the new stuff that I'm getting, especially with these orders here. So let's start with this one here, because it's a little bit bigger, and I'm not exactly sure what's inside of this one. So let's cut into it. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay. This is fun guys. So we're going to be going somewhere today then. All right. This is neat. So this is my passport. It finally came in. All right. So this right here is, well, Funko has passports now. And if you get one of these, we're going to, well, you're going to be doing some traveling, I guess you could say. So they have different characters that go to different um, countries. So right now, guys, I want to show you the inside. So right here, guys, here's the front and back. And then inside, this is what it looks like. Now we haven't traveled to any of those countries yet. Um, so that's why they're all empty. But if you go there, you get a pin. So you know what, guys? Let's go to the first country today. So here it is right here, guys. This is Barkingham. Now this is the figure you get um, if you were to go all the way to London, England. So there it is right there, guys. This is the one. They're doing so many from around the world. And I'm going to show you the back here as well. We're not going to name them all because there's a lot of them. But there they are right there, guys, on the back. I'm so excited about getting the rest of these. We'll have to do that eventually. If you guys want to see me go to those countries and check them out, um, we will slowly be doing that over the course of a couple months now. So let's open this guy up, though, because I want to put my pin into the actual book here. So let's check it out. So this is the first time a pop has ever come with a pin and there is the Barkingham one for the pop around the world. That looks really great actually. I'm a, I'm a big fan of these pins. So there's that and then if you guys want to see Barkingham as well there he is. So he's a little bulldog in like a, almost like a Queen's Guard suit right there which I think looks really great. This is neat. Um, I'm pretty sure they're doing the animals that go with the country is kind of what they're going for here. Um, so England is this one. And so let's put this guy inside of the passport here. So the pin, if you guys didn't see, the pin goes in the spot here, you push them in. And then on the back side, you put the pin back on it. So I'm really excited about these uh, because I used to collect Disney pins. And so now I'm collecting Funko pins as well. So there it is right there, guys. There's the first one in my pop passport right there. I'm so excited about getting the rest of these. But yeah, this is this is been pretty fun and I'm excited for the rest of them to come out. Okay, so next up I want to do another Funko Shop package here. We'll save whatever that Blizzard one is to the end. Like I said, I think I know what it is, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's get into this one here. This is another one of those Funko Shop ones. Usually when it's this size box, it's just a single character. So we'll have to find out what it is when I get inside here. Um, so let's check it out. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. I'm excited about this one. So this one right here is an ad icon that I'm super excited about. This is Milton the Toaster. So this is the Pop-Tarts ad icon, and I love this thing. So this right here is neat. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, to be honest. But the toaster, um, I mean, isn't going to be a huge thing anyways. But yeah, I think he looks really, really great. So there's Milton the Toaster, guys. You can also see on the back there, it's got the Pop-Tarts logo. Or Pop-Tarts logo, and then an actual Pop-Tart down bottom. They also put the Pop-Tart cracked down the middle there. Um, and I like the way they did the edges on this. It kind of looks like it's um, kind of like tattered or painted a bit on the edges. I think that looks really great. Um, but yeah, Milton the Toaster is such a cool pop. I'm so glad that I could add this one to the ad icon collection um, because this is a pretty cool one. If you guys want to order this one, you can't anymore. It's sold out. Um, but it was still available for like, I think it was maybe an hour and a half to two hours. So if you guys really wanted this one and you were, you know, available that day to order it, you were for sure going to be able to get this one. All right, you know what? Let's do the Blizzard one next because I don't know. I'm a little worried about it. It's kind of moving around in there. So fingers crossed it's okay. Um, there's only one thing that I really ordered from Blizzard recently, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's what I thought it was. I'm not, I, I, you know, I wanted to build suspense on that one because I wasn't exactly sure, but I was pretty sure what it was. So here it is right here, guys. This is the Pop Games Tracer. Now, the reason I bought this one, oh, it's not from Blizzard. It's from fanatics.com. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a sports memorabilia website. Now, you're probably wondering why they had an Overwatch pop on the sports website. Well, it's the Overwatch League exclusive tracer. 
producer, and this is their Overwatch League debut esports pop. So this is the first ever esports Funko Pop, and it's really cool that they're doing this because they put the esports gaming figure on the sports website. So it's kind of cool, like their people are like recognizing that esports are a real sport by putting them on Fanatics.com. I think it looks really great. I don't know if they have anything else over there, Overwatch, but they for sure have this tracer. So if you guys want to go check it out, you totally can. It's over on their website, and I think it looks really, really great. Now we've got two more Funko Shop packages. I mean, these are pretty much just both the same, like one single pop, but I am excited to see what's inside. I know one of them is um, more recent, and one of them's a bit older. Like one of them was one that I ordered a while ago. Yeah, it's this one right here. So this here um, was a pop that I had ordered, and I found it in the, the storage room over there, and I wanted to make sure I opened it up to show off to you guys, because I do like this one. I've had this one for a little while now. So I, I to be honest, I thought I opened it. I hadn't, apparently, because it was still in the box over there. So let's see what this is. This one right here is to go with the movie Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and this is a pretty nice figure. So there was, I believe, six different Knights of Ren, and then there was also the Chrome versions of them as well and if you wanted to pick up all of these you had to get them from like a bunch of different retailers there was like a Walmart exclusive there was an FYE one um, one exclusive to Hot Topic if I'm not mistaken anyway so if you really wanted to get these um, you had to kind of dig around for them but yeah I was excited to get this one I have maybe I'm looking over there maybe three or four of them I don't have all six yeah you had to get these ones at a bunch of different retailers like um, FYE and the Funko shop but I'm pretty sure Hot Topic had one as well um, so I wanted to get this one anyways just because if I wanted to get these later it was gonna be an annoying one to get I think it's still on the website if I'm not mistaken funko-shop.com um, but it is still a pretty cool one and I'm glad that I got it because I'm probably gonna want to finish the set eventually now we've got one more package I know what's in this because I ordered two of them and it was just so that way I could have one with it in the box and one without you guys don't know what I'm talking about right now um, but it'll make sense in a second yeah this is what I thought it was I can kind of tell it says it on the side of the the insert there the uh, sorter so let's see how it looks so this one is the one that I'm probably gonna be putting in a protector and keeping it um, inside of here. They call it Queen's Guard Bulldog, which is what I called it, which is great. I got the name right. Um, but anyways, there it is right there, guys. So this is the second Barkingham. So you could order two, one with the passport if you were quick enough, which sold out in like two minutes, and then one without. And I believe that one's still on the website if you guys want to order that one. So it comes with the pin and then Barkingham again. So I got this one just because I wanted to get the Barkingham with the pin inside. I might do that with all of them. The problem is that there's so many of them. There's, how many is there? There's 12. So... I don't know if I'm gonna do it with all of them, but I am for sure doing it with this one, just because it is the first one. Maybe the other ones, I'll just take them out of the box and then display them in the passport. But there it is right there, guys all of the figures, and that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed our little trip over to um, London, England. If you wanna see more of those, like I said, don't forget to put it in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.